Hey friends, I'm Angelina from Canada and I'm currently 23 years old. I gotta say, I'm pretty damn beautiful without exaggerating, right? Anyway, I came here today to tell you a story that almost cost me my life. I really hope you listen carefully so you don't repeat my mistake. I live a humble life with my parents. One day, while I was alone at home cleaning the floor, I heard someone knocking on the door. I asked, who's at the door? And the voice behind the door said, I'm just a passerby, please open the door. My mom always warned me not to open the door to strangers, especially with all the similar incidents. We hear about that often end up with the house being robbed and the people inside being killed. But before I could think too much about it, she interrupted me and said, Please open the door. I'm dying of thirst. I need some money to buy food. I'm starving. I thought for a moment and said to myself, It's hot outside and I shouldn't be heartless. I should help this poor woman. I will, opened the door, give her some water, and immediately close it without letting her in. I went to the kitchen, filled a glass of water, and brought it to her. When I opened the door, I saw a woman in her fifties. She took the glass of water from me and drank it all until she was hydrated. Then she said, Can you bring me some money? I told her to wait and went to my room, opened the closet and took the money I had saved. I came back and gave it to her. As I tried to close the door, she pushed it with force and put her hand on my shoulder, thanking me. Thank you, my daughter. I wish you all the health and wellness in the world. Then, in a glance, she took a strand of hair from my head and quickly left. I closed the door and wondered about her strange behavior, still thinking about what the old woman did to me. When my mom came home, I told her what happened. She scolded me a lot and started saying, it must be some kind of black magic or witchcraft. She kept going back and forth, saying things like, how did you open the door when you know we are strangers in the area and don't know anyone? And then, how did you let her take a strand of your hair? Are you crazy? But I didn't pay attention to her words. Instead, I made fun of her and said, magic ended a long time ago, and now we're in the era of development and technology. Days passed after that incident, and I started feeling very tired. I couldn't do my duties, and I gradually lost my appetite. My body started getting thinner quickly. Every time I met my family members at events, they asked me about the reason for my thinness and if I was suffering from any illness. But I didn't complain about anything except fatigue and loss of appetite. One day, while I was cleaning the floor, I suddenly felt dizzy and fell to the ground. My mom rushed to me and called my dad. They took me to the hospital, and after the doctor took an x-ray, he told me that I had water in my abdomen, which was causing my tiredness. Then he said, Drink this medicine that I prescribed for you in the prescription. If it doesn't work, we'll have to perform surgery to remove the water from your abdomen. I returned home and continued to drink the medicine, but it didn't work. One day, while I was heading to the bathroom, I fell to the ground and started moving my arms and legs as if someone was electrocuting me. Yes, it was epilepsy. My parents carried me to my bed, and then my dad called one of our neighbors who was a spiritual healer. As soon as he arrived, he started reading some words to me that I didn't understand, and suddenly my voice changed, sounding like a man's voice. I began to say in a manly voice, That's enough. You're burning me with those words. That's enough. The healer asked angrily, Who are you and what are you doing to this poor girl's body? I am a jinn who was put in an old woman's body. She wanted to heal her daughter from her illness, so the witch told her to put me in another girl's body. Don't you know that this is a bad thing and that God will punish you for following what the sorcerers and the witches tell you to do? So basically, there was a conversation between the exorcist and me. No, I mean between him and the jinn, because I didn't realize what I was saying to the exorcist, I was actually unconscious at the time, and it was my mom who told me about it afterwards. 
The djinn told the exorcist that an old woman had put a spell on one of my hair strands so that her daughter could regain her health and get married while I got sick and guys started avoiding me. But thank God I got better. The exorcist didn't believe the djinn and told my mom that they often lie to create tension among families. However, I was sure that the old woman was the reason behind my sickness, because I saw her taking the hair strand from me. Anyway, at the end of my story, I wanted to tell you that my neighbor's son had a crush on me, and I was into him too. We got to know each other, and he proposed to me. He's a good-looking, serious guy, and I accepted his proposal. Now we're happily married and living a good life. But be careful not to open the door to strangers and watch out for anyone who tries to take a strand of your hair or anything that belongs to you because there are a lot of evil people out there who deal with magic. Oh, wait, I almost forgot to tell you something. You know what? I'm excited for the next story because I know what it's about and I really like it. I won't tell you, though, because I don't want to spoil it for the channel owner. Take care.